Hey guys, what's going on? It's Wasim here from Hands and Smiles. Thank you for joining me on another fragrance related video. So guys, today I'm going to be doing a review of a fragrance from the house of Frederick Marr. The fragrance I'm reviewing today is Musk Ravageur. Guys, Musk Ravageur was released in the year 2000 and the nose behind this fragrance is Maurice Roussel. Guys, Maurice Roussel is a renowned perfume. He's very popular. He's created other fragrances such as Nautica Void, Rochas Man and New Harlem from the house of Bond number no. 9. So let's move over to the notes of Musk Ravageur. Guys, at the top you're going to get lavender, orange and bergamot. The heart of the fragrance is cinnamon and clove. And the base of the fragrance is sandalwood, tonka bean, garlic wood, cedar wood, amber, vanilla and musk. So guys, what do I get from Frederick Marr's Musk Ravageur? Before I move on to what this fragrance gives me or what it smells like on my skin, I just want to make a little note about Frederick Marr, the house of Frederick Marr. Guys, Frederick Marr really allows their perfumes complete creative control with a large budget to create any scent they would like. They're not bound by any restrictions that a lot of fragrances, fragrance houses put on perfumes, mainly designer houses where these houses require the perfume to create a certain scent towards a certain budget to appeal to a mass market. And these perfume houses are really just looking for an end product which is going to be high margin and high profit. But Frederick Mold is really different. It really allows the perfume a, a large budget and complete creative control of what the scent and the end product will be like. So what do we expect from Frederick Mall? We really expect artistic scents. And for me, Frederick Mall's Musk Ravageur is a very artistic scent which I really enjoyed. Uh, so what did I get on my skin? from Musk Ravageur. For me, the opening was absolutely sublime. It was absolutely beautiful, guys. This fragrance gets a lot of criticisms about the opening, but the first time I sprayed this fragrance, I was just blown away by how beautiful it is. I was I was really expecting this, the opening to be very off-putting and that I had to wait for the dry land to really appreciate this scent, but I was blown away by the opening. I thought the opening was absolutely incredible. For me, in the opening, I get a combination of the clove and the cinnamon. It's very, very spicy in the opening for me. I also get this really slight orange note in there as well. Now, this is not a citrusy feel by any means. The orange note in this is subtle, but it's definitely there. I pick up a very syrupy, sweet orange vibe. In the mid of Musk Ravageur, the cinnamon and the clove is still at the forefront of the scent but you, you get this really lovely dirty animalistic musk now this musk has sort of a civet type of a chord to it as well and for me it wasn't very strong i would have really liked the musk the animalistic vibe to be stronger but it was there in the background now for me the musk that i got in the scent i really didn't pick it up every single time i wore this scent now i've been testing this the last few months and it was only on, on the few uh, occasions that I wore this where I picked up the dirty, musky vibe. And on the other occasions, my nose didn't pick it up at all, which was, I was slightly disappointed because I actually really enjoyed the musky, dirty element of this scent. In the dry down, this fragrance becomes a vanilla bomb. The main note you're gonna get is this really, really sweet vanilla. The spiciness still hangs in there. You still get the clove and the cinnamon from the opening, but they're definitely in the background. This fragrance becomes very, very sweet in the dry down, and the sweetness really intensifies the longer this fragrance stays on your skin. For me, guys, after the, the massive enjoyment I got from the opening, the dry down really left me quite disappointed. Uh, I really enjoyed the really daring uh, or the audacity of the opening. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. The opening will be very polarizing, but for me, I absolutely loved it. In the dry down, the fragrance became very safe to me. It's a very, very pleasing uh, dry down, actually. A lot of people are going to enjoy the dry down. It's very sweet. The vanilla is definitely there, but for me, I was a little bit disappointed. I really enjoyed the dirty, musky mid, and I really wish that carried on throughout the scent. But what I was, uh, what I settled with was the sweet vanilla, guys. For me, the dry down was a little bit boring, if I'm being honest. If we move over to the performance, guys, this fragrance is incredibly strong, especially for the first six hours. The projection is super strong. 
after the six hour mark i feel the when the vanilla starts to take more of a center stage and becomes the most dominant scent this fragrance starts getting a lot softer and starts sticking closer to your skin and becoming more of a skin scent but the first six hours this fragrance is very strong as far as longevity guys i got around eight to ten hours around eight hours most of the time but it does push it on to the 10 hour mark as well for me this fragrance would really really work during the colder months definitely during the winter the spiciness and the vanilla especially work really well in the cold winter time but i could see someone pulling this off in the fall or autumn as well as far as sprays guys for me due to it being so strong for the first six hours or so I would recommend only two sprays, one to the chest and one to the neck. Some people also do one spray to the back of the neck as well, but for me, I never really feel that works well for me. So I just do one to the chest and one to the neck. As far as age group goes, guys, this fragrance would really appeal to someone who's got their act together. To, it would appeal to a mature person. Now, I'm not saying this mature person has to be old. You don't have to be old to be mature, but this fragrance really doesn't have a juvenile vibe, uh, juvenile vibe at all. And I couldn't really see a teenager being able to really pull this off. I would say I would say a recommended age will be 30 plus, but I could, a, a person that's quite uh, mature, a 25 year old that's quite mature could possibly pull this off as well. This is definitely a unisex scent, especially in the dry down with the vanilla. Musk Ravageur is definitely a very polarizing and daring scent. Some people are absolutely going to love this and some people are going to absolutely hate this as well. And for that reason, I really cannot see this working as a date or a romantic type of a fragrance. Now, this fragrance, especially here on YouTube, gets a lot of press for being this panty dropper or being this fragrance which women absolutely adore. For me, I absolutely have to disagree with that. I really cannot imagine many women liking this scent the opening is definitely going to put a lot of women off i love the opening but i really don't feel like other people would like this scent especially women on a date the opening is definitely very challenging and very daring and i absolutely love the audacity but i really don't think women would enjoy the opening of this scent now the dry down you're going to get that really sweet safe vanilla which women would enjoy, but for me guys, there's no point wearing Musk Ravageur to a date. You can wear Aqua de Gio to a date. Women love that stuff, but really, I don't wear fragrances for women. I wear a fragrance because I want to smell good, how it makes me feel. I love to wear fragrances which have an artistic uh, element to it as well. And Musk Ravageur really has that artistic element. I absolutely love this spicy clove opening with that dirty animalistic musk. So for me, Musk Ravageur works well for those occasions where you want to smell different, you want to smell uh, unique. And for me, I would wear Musk Ravageur on those type of occasions. I would not wear this to a date at all, guys. So if you're looking for a date or a panty dropper, then don't look at Musk Ravageur, guys. Just buy it for yourself and not for someone else. Now, as far as overall rating goes, for me, uh, I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5. Now, the reason why I'm not giving it 4 marks is because the dry down left me a little bit disappointed. It became a very safe scent in the dry down. The opening was just sublime. It was absolutely beautiful, guys. The spicy clove opening with that dirty musk in the mid. I absolutely adored it. But in the dry down, it just becomes a very safe vanilla bomb. Excellent longevity projection was very strong for the first six hours or so. So it was a solid fragrance a very good fragrance very artistic fragrance, which I absolutely adore not very versatile as well So it gets a little bit of a knock from that as well overall rating four out of five That's musk ravageur guys. I hope you enjoyed this review if you have then make sure you subscribe Guys, if you subscribe, then you can be the first to know about any of my new videos that are coming out. Also, remember to leave a like uh, below and leave a comment below as well. Until next time, my friends, see you later.